Hi welcome to Beyond Budget, Lenovo's ThinkPad E-Series offers solid business features and good internals, and this latest ThinkPad E14 is no different. Our model of the ThinkPad E14 is configured with an 1165G7 Intel Core i7 processor, the single-channel 16GB of DDR4 RAM, a 1TB of solid-state drive, and an Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics. Before we go further into the details of this laptop, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We also put the link for the laptop down in the description so make sure to check for more details and the current price. Design-wise, the PVC black body of this Lenovo ThinkPad provides a really smooth feel. This model of ThinkPad E14 weighs 3.73 pounds or 1.69 kilograms. It is built of a blend of plastic and aluminum. The stability is still good, and the base unit cannot be twisted or dented. The lid is similarly sturdy. The hinges are carefully set, with just minor bouncing, it can also open to 180 degrees. Furthermore, while the smooth surfaces are pleasant to the touch and do not appear cheap, they are highly vulnerable to fingerprints. If you do not clean the equipment on a regular basis, it will quickly become unsightly. Overall, the chassis makes a solid impression, especially given the price. The illuminated keyboard is directly from the ThinkPad components bin, which means it's excellent. The typing experience is nice and quick. In some online conferencing apps like Skype or Microsoft Teams, special keys can be used to start and cancel calls. The keyboard is also spill-resistant, furthermore, the FN and control keys are swapped into each other's positions at the bottom left, however, you can swap them with the provided Lenovo Vantage software if you can't adjust to the location. Overall the keyboard is satisfying to type on and has tactile feedback. On the other hand, the E14 is still equipped with the narrower version of the trackpad, despite Lenovo upgrading to larger trackpads on its other models, this 10 by 5.6 cm registers all Windows gesture very well. The handling does not cause any problems and the clicking sound leaves a high quality impression, the additional trackpoint buttons on the other hand are a bit wobbly. In terms of connectivity, the left side of the ThinkPad E14 features a Thunderbolt 4 port, two USB-A 3.0 ports, an HDMI output, and a 3.5mm audio jack. While the right side features a USB-A 2.0 port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, and a Kensington lock. Unfortunately, this laptop doesn't include a standard or micro SD card reader, the 720p webcam shoots images that are reasonably well-lit and vivid, albeit a little soft focus, with just a hint of static or noise. On the other hand, the bottom-mounted speakers generate moderately powerful, slightly flat sound that isn't tinny or distorted. The bass is light, but you can hear overlapping tracks. In addition, the preloaded Dolby Audio software helps you adjust the setting for music, movies, games, and voice, as well as an equalizer. The display is nothing exceptional, with a 14-inch, 1920x1080 Full HD IPS anti-glare display, the screen is adequate, with a good color balance and a wide viewing angle, the sides have less bezel than the ThinkPad T-Series, which is a good thing. The bottom also has less bezel than the ThinkPad T-Series. The display has no touch, but there are other models with a touch screen. The screen has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. It also has 250 nits of brightness, which is a big turnoff compared to even a much cheaper laptop. It is suitable for home or office use, but not outside. Overall the display is not suitable for color-accurate image editing or video editing, however, there are multiple configurations of this laptop with a peak brightness of 400 nits and more color reproduction rate but still not suitable for strictly color-accurate content creation. In terms of performance, our model is configured with an 1165G7 Core i7 processor with 4 core and 8 threads, and an integrated Iris Xe G7 graphics. The 1165G7 Intel Core i7 processor is an upper mid-range, quad-core CPU for use in ultra-thin laptops. 
It has a base clock speed of 2.8 GHz and a single core boost frequency of 4.7 GHz. The processor will have no trouble chewing through some light video editing and 3D rendering job on the go with a bit of gaming possible as well even if there is no dedicated graphics card. The integrated Intel Iris Xe Graphics G7 will let you play most games at 1080p at their lowest setting. It's nearly as fast as NVIDIA's GeForce MX350, surpassing most AMD's integrated graphics. It is paramount that fast RAM is used as the integrated GPU has no video RAM of its own. Overall, the integrated version of ThinkPad E14 and still is not a good choice for gaming. In terms of storage, our model is configured with a single-channel 16GB of DDR4 RAM that is upgradable, and a 1TB of NVM East Solid State Drive, with a secondary M.2 slots for future upgrade. If you don't want to mess with the internals, there are multiple configurations already available. The ThinkPad E14 gives an average battery life of 8 hours and 30 minutes, at moderate usage, which is not bad but could have been better since it doesn't include a dedicated GPU. Before we conclude we must mention why you should and shouldn't buy this laptop. You should buy this laptop if you want a comfortable keyboard to type on, buy if you want a Thunderbolt 4 port that doubles as a charging port, buy if you need a capable business laptop, buy if you want a classic ThinkPad design with business-centric features, buy if you want a quiet laptop, buy if you want a fast and reliable fingerprint reader integrated into the power button. Don't buy this laptop if you want the best value for money laptop, don't buy if you want a dedicated graphics processing unit, don't buy if you want something light and slim, don't buy if you want an SD or micro SD card slot, don't buy if you don't want lackluster battery life, don't buy if you want a bright and content creating capable display. Overall, we recommend the ThinkPad E14 with a Tiger Lake for surfing the web and office computing duties, with a bit of light gaming thrown in as an added bonus. However, the laptop is not ideal for rigorous video editing and image editing jobs. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.